announce 40 years of failed assassination attempts on Fidel Castro, 638 schemes that failed. I'm Jim Fugate, and it's my privilege to share an ounce with you. Have you heard the idiom, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again? There is wisdom in that idea of never giving up. But on occasion, the value of such dedication is in what you learn from the effort in trying to succeed, though success may not be achievable. Here's an example. In the late 1950s, Cuba, an island nation just a few miles south of Florida in the United States, was in the throes of a revolution led by a man named Fidel Castro. Up until that time, Cuba had been quite the playground for the American elite and a big moneymaker for U.S. organized crime syndicates. But the early 1960s communist hero, Castro, became the supreme dictator. Well, things don't work the same in a communist system because the government owns everything. And the fun was over. The mob lost their huge money-making operations. The well-off lost a favorite tropical destination. And the U.S. had a new neighbor. A new neighbor that was not at all appreciated. No worries. The intelligence services would have that taken care of in due time. Perhaps there would be a U.S.-backed revolution, or Castro might well meet with some unfortunate accident, or fall ill and die of some mysterious unknown illness. But after over half a century, a few attempted coups and assassination conspiracies and attempts on his life, the great dictator Fidel Castro died at 90 years of age because he was old and not because someone killed him. Fabian Escalante, Castro's head of security, was able to estimate 638 times that someone tried to depose the dictator. This number is supported as not an exaggeration by declassified U.S. documents. So, failure was certainly not for a lack of trying, because they tried. There was botulinum toxin in his cigars, a tuberculosis impregnated wetsuit, an exploding cigar, radioactive dust on his shoes, and even mafia hitmen from the FBI's 10 most wanted criminals list hired to shoot him. Even explosive laden podiums and teams of US backed CIA trained Cuban dissidents attempting military coups, an assassination by a femme fatale using poison, to whom Castro handed a loaded 45 caliber pistol and then goaded her saying nobody can kill me and she didn't so apparently he was right they even tried to drug him with vaporized lsd and several other nasty tricks all 638 approved of and funded ventures either failed from poor planning bad spycraft or poor execution pardon the pun the records show that this trail of incompetence continued up to the year 2000. And there may have been many more after that. The declassified records report that U.S. presidents from Eisenhower to Clinton all continued the ongoing program to rid the world of Fidel Castro. But apparently there was nothing useful learned from 638 failures over several decades. I'd have to conclude that somebody was asleep at the wheel or wasn't trying very hard. Or who knows, perhaps they had reinterpreted ongoing failure as success? <laughs> Fidel said before his passing, if surviving assassination attempts was an Olympic event, I would have the gold medal. <laughs> sure would. <laughs> so here's the outs. Be persistent. Never give up. Never back down, do or die. All strong statements about achievement or getting things done. Achievement is never reached without effort, consistency, and learning, adjusting, and trying again. But keep your head about you. Blindly continuing on with an effort that consistently fails, well, that's a clue to step back and ask yourself, what am I not seeing? 
What is it that staunches success? There is an eternal principle that we need to remember. Consistent, ongoing effort will bring about a result. And if we're lucky, it might even be the result we were looking for. And when there is no consistent and purposeful effort, there will be no chance of accomplishment. And that's it. An ounce submitted for your consideration. <laughs>